because I'm really curious to know what's going on with this new trend on social media, especially with the ladies, where they're posting up screenshots of their conversations with random men on dating sites, or on dating apps, sorry. And I guess this one in particular probably is Hinge. I've never used it. Um, or t t t Tinder and shit like that, right? People are using all this stuff, right? To kind of post up their weird conversations with guys and have them up on social. And most of the reason why they're doing it feels like it's to kind of dunk on the guy. To kind of be like, oh, ha ha, look how dumb and stupid this guy is, right? It's really strange. I don't really understand what this is all about. And one example of this is this person here who posted this thread, right? And she said the following in a caption, I asked a guy for his most controversial opinion and I dot, dot, dot. So she asked the guy for his controversial opinion and the guy texted her back on Hinge and said the following. I don't care about the writer's strike. I think there are way too many pseudo-intellectual wannabe artists in Hollywood. 99% of films and TV shows are trash and it's ultimately killing the industry anyway. Find another profession. Woo! And full disclosure, I actually majored in screenwriting and directing in college. <laughs> so in my opinion... Maybe because I'm, you know, listening to too many flipping red-pilled people or I'm a, I'm a little bit edgy in my own way. But I think this is a pretty lukewarm take. I think there are many people out there who have similar sort of takes when it comes to the writer strike and, you know, actor strike and whatnot. I think we could all agree, regardless of what genre of stuff we'd like to watch, whether it's sci-fi, whether it's drama, whether it's thrillers, whether it's fucking reality TV, I think we can all collectively agree that the quality of all our shows has somewhat decreased over the last, what, two decades or so right there is a lot of like ideologically possessed shows out there a loads of fucking agendas being pushed on our shows loads of fucking you know um you know just nonsense that doesn't need to be there and you know good writing has definitely fallen by the wayside maybe we don't have enough good writers maybe the studios and the production companies aren't basically rewarding good writers for good work who knows but regardless we can all say the quality of raw has kind of really died so most of us can say that so most of us can also sympathize with the actors who are striking and the directors and the writers and stuff because we know that these streaming companies are you know fucking them over we know the streaming companies are not giving them good splits they're not giving them residuals and shit and that needs to change much like tim dylan i think i agree with tim dylan tim dylan basically says the ai thing isn't gonna go back right like they're not gonna put the ai genie back in a bottle anytime soon that's fair but they should find a way to compensate the people who write and act in these things you know well at the moment they're not being compensated well and that needs to kind of be worked out with the streaming companies but with that being said, we all could also be honest and say, these guys, writers and actors, they don't really have a lot of wiggle room, these artists that work there, right? Because the work is so bad at the moment from them. You don't really have a lot of, you know, you don't really have a point of position that you can kind of argue from where you can say you're indispensable. Because I think most of us can agree that a pretty decent prompts on an AI, you know, could probably put together a pretty decent collection of shows that could rival what we kind of have at the moment so it kind of seems like a lot of the protest a lot of the striking is probably going to fall on deaf ears eventually and they're all going to probably just have to accept what they're given and kind of go from there so when i see this point i don't really see anything too crazy but i just find it insane number one in my opinion that you ask somebody a question you ask them hey what's your most controversial opinion and then you get surprised when they tell you a controversial opinion. And then you get so surprised that you want to share that controversial opinion to your, I don't know, thousands of followers on social media in an effort to dunk on that person. Fair enough, she was fair and nice enough to not include the person's picture or their face or their fucking, you know, name and shit and, you know, preserve their privacy. But I just think it's quite insane that this has become like a trend now this whole dunking on strangers type of thing to make yourself feel better and obviously the the replies have been you know absolutely sucking her off but i think all of it is absolutely crazy exactly the guy some guy i follow here said i mean you asked another person said the real red flag is asking people for their most controversial opinions in the first place so you can judge them for how controversial it is another person says what a loser so some people are clearly getting at her but this person here said tell me at least he didn't know you were a screenwriter when he said this he did not um did you just did you did you just jump dump that guy yell at that guy and she says here um in her excellent writing right being a writer oh i was she says um 
in my response, what you say? Let's just say firm. What kind of sentence is that? You're meant to be a writer and you say, oh, I was, comma, in my response, comma, let's just say dot, 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 firm. That sounds absolutely insane. But yeah, I don't understand these people. I think this behavior is unhinged. I want us to get to a place in society where we just stop sharing private DMs and messages with people that we have like in general with the public unless it has to do with you know the flipping conviction of a crime or something or in some respect then you shouldn't be sharing any private correspondence with anybody on social media i just think it's incredibly um you know in poor taste it's completely classless and if anything unless the screenshot really does help to maybe clarify your position on a certain thing you always i feel like ends up blowing back on the person that's sharing it more often than not it ends up making you look like a worse person so just stop just stop and leave people alone you know respect their privacy if you don't like them you need to just block them unlink them whatever you have to do on hinge and shit but you don't need to be posting up their flipping replies on social media for people you know to mock them and stuff because claire fair enough his picture's not there we don't know what his name is but that guy still has feelings he's still not gonna be feeling too good about himself hearing that the whole the internet is flipping been dunking on him and making it seem like he's some sort of you know conservative crazy guy because he thinks you know the flipping hollywood actors and stuff are you know know maybe not worth their flipping money that they're asking for it's absolutely crazy man i think it's all really really strange to me personally i absolutely hate it i absolutely hate it really do um but yeah what can i do what can you do people here do whatever they want to do they want to do 